you obviously are a natural born hustler. Yes. People throw that word around frivolously. They throw it around, I'm a hustler. Mm -hmm. Which, to build big business, and, and again, I want to speak to somebody who is watching this or listening to this in podcast form. Every hustler is not an entrepreneur. It's a big yes. difference. Yes. From your standpoint, can you break down for anybody who just throwing that word around? Yeah. You, I mean, as much of a hustler as you are, had to become an entrepreneur to become the man that you've become. Yeah. Don't, like I said, don't be afraid to change and grow. A lot of people, when they use that word hustler, you know, you take that with you to your business, your job, your career. No, you have those hustler skills from starting off in an environment where I grew up at, poverty. But I didn't take that with me. If you look at it, most people that take that with them, they lose in the end. I took those skills, that work ethic, saying that if I could put this much time into something like that, imagine what I could be if I could put this into something positive. And that's what I did. I really, I said, I want to put those hustling skills in to go take over corporate America. I want to create product. I got product. I got, I got rice. <laughs> I got barbecue stuff. I got chips. I mean, this the biggest chips. I love it. Which, which a lot of people took the call to be, uh, then went to the shoe game. You know, if Nike could do it, how come we can't do it? That's what I'm talking about, hustling skills. When nobody believed in my shoes, nobody believed in what I was doing because they wasn't used to seeing a black man do the same thing that a white man could do. And that was my mission to, to say, if we're buying Aunt your mom and Uncle Ben, and that those products made billions of dollars, how come we can't create products to do the same and be able to give back to the community? So take those hustle skills, not with you as you change your mindset and grow, but leave the negative part of that behind and take that hustle skills to do something great, something positive. And I think that's why God spared my life and that's why he keep blessing me because I'm not dwelling on the past. Mm -hmm. So don't be afraid to grow, leave the past behind, but if you had something positive, what, what I love when people say a hustler, the work ethic. Somebody just going to grind and not going to stop, just going to keep going no matter what. But all the other stuff, I leave that behind because that can't go with me where I'm going at. If I want to build a multi-billion dollar business, you got to leave the other stuff behind and constantly grow. Uh, and build a team because it's not just about me. When you That's say right. your hustler, hustler is only about that person. But when you grow and you evolve, you start realizing that there's no I in team. To have a great business, you need a great team. You need experts. It's not just about you. You just might be the face of the business. But your team is might be what's keeping this business growing and going. So don't be afraid to recognize the value in everybody else around you. I love that. I want you to speak because one of the things that I loved about your documentary that you pointed out so well, actually, you started off record store. Yeah. You get into rapping, TRU. Yeah. You, 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 you're selling tapes out of your trunk. This wasn't easy and it didn't come quickly. Nah. And I think a lot of, you know, where the world is today, we live in this microwave society. We, we want stuff right now. We just think yeah. that it's going to happen overnight. And I love that you shine the spotlight on the fact that, for me, as successful as y'all see that I am and have become, and as much of, of, of a legacy that I've had, this was a grind and it took yeah. a long time. Can you speak to perseverance, yes. persistence, overcoming obstacles, failures, and just staying in the race? Well, for me, when you look at my life, even in the music business, I was from the South, 
I moved to the West Coast. So I sound country. My music didn't sound like everybody else's music. So the mindset was, oh, he's whack. So I, I took that whack. Because I tell people no idea is a whack idea. But I took that, how do I get better? I'm not going to let that, those words stereotype my mind to not go after my dreams and my goals. I'm like, I got to get better. It's almost like a basketball player. You know, you, 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 you might beat somebody, you come, you like, oh, man, this dude ain't that good. But you come back out there the next day, that dude out there early in the morning working on his game. And you're like, man, he, this guy probably been there, out there all night because you didn't beat him. And that's how I look, looked at my music. I'm like, I got to put the time in and get better. I just kept going back to the studio, kept working on stuff to get better. Uh, every time a, a radio station told me they didn't like my song, I kept coming back, going, make a new song, getting better. So I wanted to show people that my life, wasn't like a lot of the other stories that you hear in hip hop, how they just came out of nowhere. They had this talent and it was just great. That wasn't for me. I had a lot of obstacles I had to overcome. Uh, it was a challenging situation for me. And I was in an uncomfortable situation because I wasn't even in my community. I was in somebody else's community, somebody else's hood. And so I had to learn their ways. I had to learn how to make music to adapt, even a sound to a West Coast audience that I had no knowledge of. And I feel like it made me better being unique, being different. So don't, don't be afraid to be unique and different. It might be bigger dreams and goals that, that are coming to you in the end. And I think that's what my success came from because I tell people all the time, never give up. That's what No Limit is about. The company is named No Limit and Master P because I'm a master of what I do. And uh, we just don't quit. Mm -hmm. Even when it looked like they closed the door, we're going to go through a window or come through the chimney. And uh, having that type of belief and faith and passion with what you're doing. It's gonna get you, I'm telling you, when when nobody else believe and you believe, they can't stop you. And that's that's what my life was about. When you go back and look at No Limit, uh, that's how I got to my first hit record. Probably made a thousand whack records. Uh, so you look at that as a thousand failures, but a thousand one, I turned it all around that took that pain away. Whoo, I love this. I love this, P. Yeah, just one, one successful thing made you forget about all the times you feel, all the times people didn't believe in you. And now you got the whole world screaming your name. I went from selling no records to 100 million records, independently, changing the game. So making those sacrifices, getting up early in the morning, losing sleep. I tell you, everybody got 24 hours, but if you have a dream that you're chasing, then you're gonna have to invest your time wisely. And you're gonna have to understand what do you really want out of this? I knew that I wanted success out of this and I'm gonna get it by any means necessary. It might not happen right now, it might not happen in a year, it might not happen two years, it might not happen five years, six years, seven years, but I know when I get to the top of that mountain, everybody's gonna be screaming my name and I think when you have trust and faith in God, and people don't realize my vision was bigger than everybody else. That I, so make sure your vision is there because people only seen the mustard seed. I was looking at the tree. They, I'm looking at a big old tree. They looking at a little mustard seed telling me, even the people that's telling me that you're not gonna make it. That's pushing me even more so. I'm like, man, they, they don't believe in me. I ain't mad at them, but guess what? you're not coming to the party and celebrate with me because you don't believe in me. You said it. And the haters push you. They mold, They should motivate you. They should make you just want to, like, even when I was playing basketball, when somebody said, man, you ain't that good. I'm like, okay. I remember that. I'm out there working on that court, dribbling the ball, shooting. Like, and the next thing you know, that person telling somebody else, man, Percy Miller, that, that dude is the truth. And, and sometimes God... Or take you on 
a destination and you think it's going one way, but it'll end up somewhere else. You just got to keep working because I thought basketball was the way for me. What's up guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love.